Here's Byron Buxton. Leading off tonight for Pittsburgh, the center fielder, Byron Buxton. The wind and the pitch. Just oh, off the outside down. edge. And we're underway here in the home opener. That That's misses. Cool, Two and oh. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. It sets the tone for the rest of the game. There's a strike to the knees. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Swing and a miss. Hi, it's two and two. Well, they got away with the mistake right there. A curveball that backed up a little bit, stayed high in the zone. You want oh, oh, now this oh, one's oh, high oh. and deep. Way back there. Oh. On its way. Gone. A gigantic <laughs> blast. It's one nothing. Here's Francisco Lindor. And the ball first pitch down. misses for ball one. Lindor, in his ninth season, 24 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. In the center, Trout is there. Oh, madre, pero como coño la madre, triple boot, esa mierda es un flycito peor. Willie McCovey will hit next. And a foul ball. Pedro is one of the most dominant pitchers in the history of the game, Boog, and he's known for his excellent command of the baseball and a variety of pitches that oh, always seems to confuse puede ser, Marico, un triple good, un flycito peor, huevón. That one just misses. It's a good take. And they'll do it again. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. Hola, madre. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Jamer Candelario, the next to hit, takes outside. McCovey stands at first with one out. And that's off the inside edge. And it's 2-0. Oh. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past. But it's still impressive to watch. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Greg Biggio. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. He's been known to jump all over the first pitch, so that seems like a missed opportunity right there. Ah, bueno. Pensé que venía con el cambio de dentro. Vamos, nos vamos a pillar. And that one goes straight to the backstop. And he's in to score position with two gone on the wild pitch. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Pensé que me venía con quebradito, vale, me la sofla piedra, vale. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Late with the swing there. And a big swing and a miss. Pitch misses, and the count one and two. And that one missing low. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Makes the grab one away. Seeger stands in now. Swings through that one for strike one. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. 
The shortstop takes the ball. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's Mike Trout. Out of line, out towards center. Buxton hauls it in to end the inning. All set for the start of the inning. And now here's the veteran DH, David Justice. Martinez back to work. Fouled off. He was late. Left hand hitter waits. Now a screamer into the outfield. And Acuna able to make the grab. No le llega esa pelota, marico triple good, huevón. Como esa pelota no cae, marico. One man you want to keep on the base paths. It's this guy right here, Ricky Henderson, the undisputed stolen base king. One out, base is empty. That one misses. Ball one. And Singy Ricky's 1,406 career steals is a record that may stand for ever. Oh, wow. What a stop. The tag got him. Wow, what a play. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. Oh. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And he'll one. Swings through that one out in front that time. Marico, pero qué pasó aquí? Si no toca la... And the Pirates. Back here in Houston. And here is... He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and really discipline yourself can be tough sometimes. But the guys that do it well, man, I tip my cap to them every day. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Swing and a miss. 0-1. In the air, left field, down the line. And Ricky Henderson to grab. One away. Gary Sanchez now. Upstairs. Pero porque ese slider sube. Almost got him. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. Hey. Swing and a miss as he was late. And look hey. out as that one ran in and got him. So first and second with one gone. So next up for Houston, Rafael Palmero. Right. Chase a swing. Right. Now would appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Swing and a miss. Yeah, the count one and one two. Two strikes. Lifted in the air, out to left. And Ricky Henderson to grab. Now batting Jamer Candelario. A little out front there as he swings through it. Oh, one's the count. Ball one, one there. Tying run in scoring position here in the third and final game of the series. Fought off foul. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's, oh, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. In comes the run from second. You're tied at one. Ah, he he so really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And that one almost got him.
to the right side. Makai. He'll do it himself. They limit the damage here. And we're back. Top half of the third inning. And now the right fielder, Jackson Chorio. The pitch. Foul ball there. Next offering is foul back. Good oh, eye in that play. spot. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Ay, Marita. Stepping in the long ball threat, Byron Buxton. He's already homered in this game. And that one fouled off. Marico, huevón. Demasiado huevón. Ese era, marico. fouled off tied up here in the early going next ball, pitch way upstairs pretty standard high o2 fastball right there if you're smart to look for something down in the zone but not too far oh, my hola, marico. in the dirt zips it to oh. first that takes care of buxton francisco lindor comes up to the plate oh for one with a fly out to center That one's in there, 0 and 1. Two outs, bases empty. The shortstop takes a ball. I got a ball, one strike. Paying and a miss. One and two. It's gotten into a really good rhythm. <laughs> Set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it. Now ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Here at Minute Maid Park as we go to the last of the third. Now it's the right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. The wind of the pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. 2023 was a special season for Ronald Acuna Jr., the unanimous MVP in the National League. After putting together the first ever 40-70 season in baseball history, safe to say he's going to be a special player for a nope. long time just misses with that one swing at a ground ball Piggio tosses to first and Acuna retired so now it's Corey Seager struck out swinging his first time Seager Swings and misses. Slider right there. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. One down, base is empty. Ripped to the left center, base hit. So digging in, Mike oh. Trout. Wow. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Buxton moves under it. Corrals it. Two down. Now here's the Astros number designated number hitter, three. Babe Ruth. Designated hitter, Babe Ruth. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. All ones the count. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. And Ricky Henderson to grab. Está esperando ahí la rata. Anclado adentro. 
as we go to the top of the fourth. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Willie McCovey. And he deals. Misses inside. And it's 1-0. Oh. You know, these Pirates just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact. La bola, papi. Vámonos, 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 vámonos. Y la bola, y la bola, vámonos. That's been true again today. The third base number three. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Jamer Candelario. First pitch misses. Vamos, y la bola, y la bola. A la madre. Hola. Me tomé para abajo. No, marico, eso no era para que se lo hiciese bombito así, marico. Coño. Así, mal. Gorda, por favor, no te me pongas atrás que me desconcentras, de pana, fuera de paja. Towards first and foul ball. Justice in his 14th season, 28 years old. He's usually in right field, but today he's getting the DH treatment. And that one in the air center field. Trout is there. He's got it. And that is out number three. Bueno, le pego en el puto queso la pelota y una buena, marico, mira, triple. Pero no fue good, pues, pero marico. Ah. As you probably noticed, haven't been shy of the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. And that's outside, and it's two and one. A two -two. And downstairs. Hard hit, right side. Gathers and throws the first. One up, one down. Here's Gary Sanchez now. That one almost got him. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss, strike one. Good late one sink one. on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Next oh. offering misses down and away. Sale delivers. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. And here's the first baseman, Rafael Palmero. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Back here in Houston, we go to the top of the... Played for Pittsburgh, Ricky Henderson. Henderson. Martinez back to work. That one hit to right. The on the run. Hay que pegarle a la pelota para que caiga de aquí. He was all over that first pitch fastball, but just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Now at the plate, is he swinging through the strike? Father, the Son of God, the Spirit of Santo, Amen. How do you fail to see the chain, Marico? How do you fail to see the PCI there? 
Anda a cagar, Humberto José. Mierda, loco. Pero la puta. Jackson Chorio, now at the plate. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Ah, ay, para que hago swing, marico, sí. Uno chip pegando esa recta, marico, sí. Oh, joda, después de dos a la puta que lo parió. Nice line drive to pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding... No! Con no la madre! Hola. That takes care of Buxton, and that's the third out. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. And stepping in for the Astros, Jamer Candelario. And the pitch. Sliced hard and foul. Well, these Astros definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. They're swinging at more than 70% of the first pitches they've seen today, and it's just not working out for them. Kicks and fires. And now two balls and a strike. So those first pitch numbers tell me they should try to find a way to slow this game down a bit. Things have been moving just too quickly for them at times. That one ran inside, almost got him. There's the strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. He'll step off and take the signs again. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Now, here is Alfonso Soriano. This one belted deep left field on its way. Gone! A massive home run. And that's how they take the lead. It's 3-1. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Got it started a little too early, strike one. 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 So, Boog, here's an interesting fact about Acuna. He has the most home runs at Truist Park. He passed Freddie Freeman for the top spot in 2023, and I think he might hold that record for a while. Line drive, caught! Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Seager at the play for the third time as he comes up empty there. Strike two. What makes him special is a lot of pitchers lose movement in their stuff the deeper they go into a game, but he's just different. We see plenty of break in his pitches, even when he's running a little low in the tank. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Ya va a matar a tu galleta. No, entonces no hay galleta. No hay galleta porque no has comido, tigre. Oye, sé que no ha comido, pero o sea, que que o sea. Arepa es lo que vas a comer tú, loco. El, a, arepa, eso es. 
Oño, vale, mamá huevo sea Alfonso Soriano, qué tablazo me dio. Qué marico, se me desconcentró todas las cosas aquí, marico. Grande, con qué soy. fallando esa curvita de mierda pero por un pelo de culo huevón o sea el PCI pero el timing está aquí pero no, 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 Ya tu mamá te está haciendo una arepita, papi. Out towards left center. Henderson sizes this one up. And out number one on the grab. So up next, your Don Alvarez. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Counts one and oh. And there's a ball. 2-0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit yeah. hard to the pull side, or the fans better Three look ball, out in the stance. Strike. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. That one fouled off two and two. And now the lefty. Still two and two after the foul ball. Sale ready. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it's through for a hit. He forced a lot of pitches to be thrown and ends up collecting a hit. Nice at bat right there. Not just the result, oh, but yeah. also seeing a lot of pitches. Made him really work out yeah. there in the mound. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. One and one. This one in the dirt. 
Eh, y no pasó ese bate. Que mientras el lobo no está Top of inning number seven. Now it's the second baseman, Craig Biggio. No pudo. Ay, well. No tengo zurdo, Mareco. No zurdo. And a pitch. Swings through that one for strike one. Oh, well, Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Ah. Into Candelario's glove. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH, David Justice. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And another ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to work. Oh, and a great stop. Yeah, there's a throw. It's there. That's a great play. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Ricky Henderson. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Sneaks through, base hit. And Yasmani Grandal with a chance to make an impact with two away. Yasmani Grandal, the next pirate to hit. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Ay, 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 ay. No, no, no. Pitches in the dirt, and a count two and one. Runner on the goal. Ball off foul. Man, is he fast. That's so fun to watch. Now 
fouls it back with two strikes. Tying run at the plate. Runner goes again. Throw save. That's a stolen base. So now three and two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Pickoff throw. Tries to get back and see. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. And now the right fielder, Jackson Chorio. One for two. Right through there for a strike. Oh and one. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Got him swinging. Bottom of the seventh. Stepping in for the Astros, Jamer Candelario. Jamer Candelario. Rysel Iglesias on the pitch here. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. <laughs> and here it comes. And a foul ball. Iglesias, 31 years old, and he's a native of Australia. Hey. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. No balls, two strikes. Next Ball offering one. is downstairs. And the right hander deals. Three. Struck him out looking. Here's the second baseman, Alfonso Soriano. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swing and a grounder foul, first base side. Oh, and two now. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now batting, right fielder. And Ronald. here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seven. Swing and a pop-up. Foul and a play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond. Three up, three down. Inning over. We're at the top of the eight. And now the Pirates lead off, man. Byron Buxton. Right through there for a strike. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off, go up there, and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. The pitch. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. And the batter will be the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way. Gone. A gigantic blast. It's 3-2. So one out, nobody on. Willie McCovey digs in now. And he's going to reset as he steps off the rubber.
misses off the outside edge. Swing no, and a miss. No, 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 Marico. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Two strikes. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Looking to get the tying run on base. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Now here is Jamer Candelario. Infield playing him to pull. Second baseman just to the right of the bat. And that one fouled off. And that'll do it. Como me le meto por debajo ese picheo. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Now it's Corey Seager. Iglesias back to work. Clobber to right field. Way back. That'll fire up the dugout. And they add a run. It's 4-2. Es un cero que tienes que ponerlo. Mike Trout, up next for the Astros. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Oh, just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Swing and a miss. And now it's even one, one and one. Other thing in this park, I mean, he could sneeze one over the left field wall into those Crawford box ball, seats. Outside. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open inside up that location three. if he wants to go back there later in this count. And the righty deals. And there's nope. ball four. Ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't the offer at it. Hitter. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Ruth. Billy Wagner on a pitch out of the pen here. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And it's fouled away. Deal one. Foul ball there. And now one two and three. two. Slider misses outside. Two, two. And there's a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. You're Don Alvarez. <laughs> Up next for the Astros. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Kicks and deals. That one fouled off. Going to now. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. And Gary Sanchez at the plate. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. I got one ball, one strike. In the dirt. Runners stay where they are. That's ball one. Two on, one out. Hammers that one. Deep left field and forget it. That's worth the price of admission. It's their second home run of the inning and they add to their lead. One down, and now it's Mookie Betts. He's all for one. And 
And that one pulled foul. Here's your one. And yeah, that skips into dirt. Four runs already in the frame. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Okay. <laughs> Hard hit, but right at him in left. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, they'll find a hole. Candelario at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Wouldn't chase that time. One and one. Jerry swing, but he went too far. And the count, one and two. And the slider just misses. And another ball. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. Check that. He'll stop at first with a single after putting on the brakes. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. Now that's back to right center. A dive. Nice stop. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field. Here comes Emmanuel Classe out of the bullpen. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, there goes the runner. Bounce to the right side. Base hit, and a run comes in. And he gets by it. Coming home. He'll score as well. And they're pulling away up by seven now. Clearly, he was ready to hit right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And a pinch. High fly ball out into left center field. Henderson moves under it. Drops into the glove. And the inning is over. here we in Houston pitch. we go to the, the ninth baseball. at the plate for Pittsburgh Craig, Craig Biggio. Biggio Mira Diego te gusta lo que estás comiendo ahí The pitch That's in there Te gusta Calling it back can be a little bit of a dance strike one here but more pitches we'll see how it turns out Gloves it on the dive the throw and they get Biggio for the out <laughs> David Justice getting ready to hit. <laughs> Catches. Nah. On. Last chance now for the Pirates. Now the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. Lays down a bunt to the right side. The tag, and that's the ball game. Martinez with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. This one ends the final 9-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.
stands our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, nine runs. Un petit filo con Christophe.